The NVIDIA announces Mistral Nemo 128B NIM. What is that gobbledygook, right? So first of all, uh, Mistral is a model company. We all know what NVIDIA is, and they co-developed a 12 billion parameter NVIDIA inference microservice together. Well, that'll be out later, but you can get it on the AI service today. So essentially what they did is uh, they came together and this model was trained on the NVIDIA DGX Cloud AI platform, and it leveraged the NVIDIA Tensor RTLLM and the NVIDIA Nemo development platform uh, to do this. So, so what, is, what does all this mean? Or actually, let me give you uh, some of the deets here. You can run this model locally. This is targeted for enterprises, okay? It's very small. You can even run it, run it on... Uh, classic what we what would be considered nvidia um accelerators for machine learning not for large language models so you can run this thing on an l40s you can run this on a consumer rtx 4090 an rtx 45 uh, even an uh, for, uh, rtx 4500 uh you it is distributed uh via hugging face uh, with an apache 2.0 it's available now as a service from uh, ai.nvidia.com and the NIM is expected soon. So what can this model do, right? Or actually, what's the benefit of having a smaller model with higher accuracy? First of all, is you don't have to uh, run uh, something on a $30,000 card. You can run it more like on a $5,000 card. And what can you do with this? This is for chatbots, uh, conversational agents, um, multilingual translations, uh, code generation and summarization, and basically reasoning uh, and world knowledge uh, type of stuff. So this might be something you would want to use for customer service, or if you wanted to put a front end, front end in, in human uh, resources. So, um, Pretty cool, uh, but uh, first and oh, by the way, it's FP8 as well, which means it takes less resources. And obviously, you know, you want to dial. That's not as, um, let's say, accurate as FP16, but uses around half of the resources. Net net, we talked about software um, being the real biggest moat that NVIDIA has. I'm convinced that somebody can create very competitive hardware. We've seen it from AMD, and I'm expecting that from Intel. But when you look at the entire solution and going from low-level drivers to libraries, to machine learning frameworks, to um, LLM models uh, deployed over NIM, uh, you have a very, very large moat. Yeah, Pat, it's uh, it's such a large moat as I've had to talk to a number of media outlets about it that their 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 ability to out innovate the market by years is creating it this this vacuum of pressure. But I mean, is it really their fault for getting it right? I don't know. I mean, look, you know, in the end, we need to be able to deploy models that can, can that can co mingle public data and private data, and they need to be able to do so efficiently to create text and chat and generative um, content and assets. And the bottom line is, is that they've done it in a way that's more effective and efficient. And this is just one example of that. This is the way these complex, high technical debt enterprises that are full of data that you know want to be able to write software to a GPU to create an application to benefit from AI. This is the package, dude. <laughs> this is what we've got here. So, you know, look, the, the net net is what you just said. I mean, look, they're doing a lot of things right. They're making it easy. They're making it accessible. And by the way, they're they're creating forces of stickiness that are going to outlast the, the innovation of competition. 